the game and try and get to Sataiko uh, wetlands in this, um, this session. Unlock the next area. Even though we've not really upgraded our weapons, which reminds me, I need to check what we can upgrade. But for now, let's get into the game. Uh, see how fast it loads. Uh, first things first. Just check what we can upgrade. Um, combat shotgun. Uh, spend fatal to unlock. Yeah, but unlock what? Oh, we upgrade. Sorry. Uh, gives weapons powers. Access new weapon mod. Ammo speed loading. That could be useful. And we've got the. To upgrade that, um, I don't want to upgrade everything here immediately. Speeds up reloading and filling the entire magazine at once. Yeesh. That is good. Um, but I want to see what's here. Also, increase reload speed. And what's in here? Increase the reload speed, increase the capacity of the ammo magazine. Uh, this I normally use as a second degree. Uh, assault rifle is for me more important than anything, but it's 500. Uh, don't have enough for the upgrade. Okay. Magazine capacity, speed reloading, speed up. I'm on a. What's that one flashing? I can switch between the two. So. So I can switch there between the two. Uh, thanks for hosting Fastman. So this is probably also the same. Uh, speed reload, magazine capacity. Uh, 
and it's like uh, it's pretty really light on this one because I need to uh, float that faster okay so currently here uh, there's a couple of points here but I want to get to this area um, so I think Let's put the target here for now. That means okay. Let's go this way. And destroy all the other cars, why not? <laughs> and as per usual when I start gaming I can apparently not drive. I promise I've got a driver's license somewhere. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yes, it is true. Fastman. Looks even help. I forgot I added that message. <laughs> Let's see what interesting things to see around here. Destination reached. Okay, is there anything interesting around here? Question marks. So we'll continue. Uh, I see those rhymes, but I'm not 100% sure what they're exactly for. I've tried one and I've whatever I've for bandit dens again. Let's see. Bandit den found. Uh yeesh, level eight. That's going to be uh, very difficult. I've done uh, up to level 6 at the moment, so level 8 is quite a shot above what I normally do. So that gives me now second thoughts. Unless we try and shoot for here. And just try and unlock this area. But I've got a feeling it's just going to be get more difficult now. Now I'm concerned that to do that area. Until I've skilled up. So nanotypes. Got four hundred. Um my disability is maxed out. Or not. Cooldowns are reduced from 3 to 2. That's use going to be useful. So now that those boosters. Boosters to purchase perks. Um, dash drive. After dash to trigger a heavy melee attack to inflict 25% damage. And the digital dash can be charged. That's going to be useful. Uh, performs damage when stunned to immediately recover. Uh, 
Let's take that one. Dash is useful. Overdrive. Uh, cooldown of all abilities reduced by 15%. Yes, please. Especially with overdrive. Uh, boost to movement and reload speed during overdrive. I'm already moving a lot fast. Uh, cooldown of all abilities reduced by 25% in overdrive. There's something very interesting happening in there. Another firefight there. I'm curious about this one. I'm tempted, but I'm in the same breath. I'm now I'm going to get my ass handed to me. Hey, notice me. Let's see what's around here. Oh, here's something else also. Road chopper up ahead. So, what level is this? Level 3. That's something I can do. Easily. And that's a new one for me. Uh, desktop audio off. The game just crashed. So give me a moment so that I can get the game back up. Because now it first wants to scan through before it will allow me to actually restart the game. I'm not sure why the game is crashing, uh, well, and it's not just this game that's crashing, it's the other game also crashing, so, weird. So, the game is starting up again. I'm going to mute the audio for a little bit, until the um, game is up. Uh, all the audio is not flush through. I was trying to see also. Okay. So, uh, let's continue. And hopefully we don't have another crash. Because, yeah, uh, that's annoying. Okay, where are we now? 
we were here. Okay, yeah. So Yeah. Green side look out. All of this is gone. Uh, um, unless we go to up here, which looks like it's actually going to be the Thorns Plains. But yeah, I want to do that mission first. I saw that mission now, and now I want to do it. Because it's a fun, quick mission. Fun, quick mission to get me back into the game. Get my muscle memory back up. And it game crashed again. Let me mute the audio again. Right as I get to that road choker, it crashed again. What is going on? <sighs> That's how to start a stream. Game crash of a game crash. And as always, you can't skip the damn. Um, Advertisements for okay. Apparently, for multiple click a uh, enter skips it. Okay, are you back on? One more try. this crash again I need to run this on my computer something has been bugging out on my computer Back to that uh, chokehold. Bandit dance again. Yeah, level 8 bandit gang, gang that I 
don't feel comfortable go, t attempting because I got my ass handed on uh, to me on a level six. Take some of them out. See if we can do something with the rockets. Not seeing anybody there. There's also a bunch of them. Okay, this is not taking too long. the fire. Okay. Salt rifle. I need to see at the, the melee attack, because I don't know what melee attack is, which is a problem in its own. Go okay, where are we going now? I see left, jumping left. All I can know is that it uh, dumps me on a crusher. Bakery and goods. Lexus workshop. Sentient life form approaches. Okay, so it didn't crash the third time. Lock chest found. So. This is interesting. And there's a new vehicle for us. And that's the thing that spoke. That winning machine. Okay. Back down. Apparently, we shouldn't have gone this way. Uh, so we still have to find one container, apparently.
Thank you, I do. Okay. So the gate is open now. And we still need to find one data pack apparently. Where is this guy? No, there's another guy here. Where is he? Because it sounds like he's in this side somewhere. There he is. Saw him. So, we need one data pad. Can I pick it up with the data pack? I'm not detecting it. Ah. Want the data pad? Okay, Intel Attain. More cool shit. BB. More, uh, more words from Basil Blasius. Scribe and mention of suffering. So goons have no leader and no need for them cause we have a unique way of settling conflicts. Whoever is strongest and best in at beating gets to decide what we do. Every goon say they are strongest and best at beating except who, me who actually is strongest best at beating. But we really conflict cause we always decide to do the same thing which is Conium to break uh, bone, bones, bodies, bits of cars and houses, and noggins and shit. Okay, this is difficult to read because of the way it's written. Sometimes we forget who the goons and who isn't, so we have a simple test. First, if they ain't freaking hinged and ru uh, ripped, then that's a big giveaway, because goons is always mad jacked and looking good. Secondly, if you can Save some uh, crying what sacks without beating the dripping out of them never happens. You tie them up and we'll be uh, going to then go for a smoke. If you tie up one comes and joins you before you finish smoking or doesn't untie themselves at all, they ain't the real. If they still wailing and them shit cycles when you get back that's a, a good right then shredded it yeah very weirdly written it's supposed to be probably I nearly want to say a southerners a, a attempt on a southerners or something Walker, I don't know Dr. Kvasir is still out there and we have to find him so Dr. Kvasir Quasi Rab, which in that name lo lovely, is here. Um, they're basically telling us we have to go that way. Uh, but there's something interesting. Of interest. And at least this time we didn't crash. So I don't know what the crash is about. Um, choices, choices. So I don't even use my shotgun this time around. And my health is okay. Could be better, but it's okay. Gotcha, Walker. So on to the next one.
So what's up here? I think that's partly what I was busy with. Is it? No, it's not. We're here, sport. Okay, so what's here? And there's undiscovered there also now. Not sure what's here, what we're supposed to find here. But it might be down... No, there's no... Okay, whatever. Um, so what it's pointing at, it's that thing. Found an arc. Check. has a bad vibe to it. Like mom would have said, rangers must assess the dangers in advance and go in ready for anything. What the hell is that? Okay, there's an arc. There's a mech suit. There's a tank. That's not... Leave my vehicle there. It's safe. Is what uh, yellow? I'm picking red there. So I won't be able to access the arc until those guys are gone. That's fine, I understand that. Uh, bye!
Uh, was supposed to look at the vehicle itself also. Okay, let's try this a different way. Switch targets, how do I... Okay, so I can switch between those two. These guys attacked me last time. They will attack me, okay, fine. That's what I wanted to know. Okay, fine. Well, I'm through. Yeah, I know the ammunition is low. You're fresh out of bullets. Not those. For fresh out of rockets, actually. So... Let's see what we've got left. <laughs> So that person is around here. There. All nearby hostels have been pacified. Please approach for security scanning. Lovely. Music to my ears. This is the devastator that I was busy messing around here. And this is the mech that killed us last time. So, let's unlock the arc. Security scanning complete. Welcome to arc 412B. What will we learn today? Let's find out. So the arc gives us new ab uh, abilities. ID accession barrier. The barrier accession gives you the ability to create a temporary barricade, which will block incoming projectiles. So hold one and C to raise a barrier. So one and C. An active uh, barrier dissolves over a period of time, but can also be toggled off by pressing 1, then C. Okay. Again. You are done. Use the barrier accession to protect yourself against simulated enemy fire. Again, 
So this is a mini training session. You have successfully completed your barrier accession training. Okay. So now we can do barriers also. That's going to be useful. I'm being shot from behind. Turn it around. That is a bit stupid. That's a bit stupid. You, they spawn you right uh, in where the enemy starts. Okay, yeah, I still have the barrier. May you bring a new human beginning, Ranger Walker. So effectively, I got attacked from behind. Let's see, um, yeah. MBV, MBTV balloon, uh, that's a new one, and Alex, location is promised, opportunities, scavenge loot and resources, we're missing one um, case there. And I actually want to go back to Gun Barrel. But first things first, let's go to that area and then we can take this monster truck to the uh, car depot and then we've got this also in our arsenal. So, right is that away. Uh, I still needed to get one container here, which apparently I just got. Sentient life form approaches. Well, I'm hearing gunshots. Okay. Not sure where that gunshot is from. But let's get back in the vehicle and then we need to go here. I saw a message pop up just now, but I didn't really read it.
out. Quickly go back to uh, the garage and deposit this vehicle. If I don't miss the dam, get the air and miss the turn. Now we can stash this vehicle and new vehicle unlocked. And then we can grab our own old faithful uh, Phoenix and then try and figure out what this one is. I think we need to go that route around. It's getting cold now, meaning we're about to get rain. And I'm pressing wrong buttons again. And overcorrecting apparently also. And I didn't really look for to reload the missiles. Because I'm all out of missiles. But it's not something that I actually use a lot of. So it should be okay. That roadblock's cleared. Destination reached. Okay, so what do we need to do here? Still can't see that. This doesn't make sense. So that's just downhill. Unless I just push through for this area, let's just do it. I'm 
the swampies. Where do I find this Dr. Kvasi? Your guess is as good as mine. You should head to Swamp City, Laguni, and poke around. Gotcha. I'm heading there now. So... It didn't really tell me anything. Swamp City. Well, that's mission objectives, ground control. So let's just continue. Today is your lucky day. I wish I saw uh, see that these arrows further away. And a bandit pit stop. Do this one. So we've got this one. Uh, get five uh, containers. There are people here. No, I can see the one. So, and we've got some friends down there. So let's try. Uh, Ooh, this place has a bad vibe to it. Like Mom would have said. Rangers must assess the dangers in advance and go in ready for anything. That's not what I planned. Uh, guys, he'll drop something. That was funny. Okay, that's done, that's done. It's in our container. Destroy 13. <laughs> I thought there was a roof and there's no roof. There's guys here. How oh, lovely. Oh, not lovely. Let's try that again. Apparently, there was more up there. <laughs> And what I expected. Oops. <laughs> also means I went through my grenades a little bit faster than I expected. Uh, I've got one grenade left. That's just a roll right through. That's not going to work. This might work. And that's why... Why I went for the... Directly, uh, just uh, 
<sighs> People posting ads on emergency groups, really. And there's people around here. Load it again. Can I see any other tanks there? Next up is that side. Ah, I'm hearing still there's still people left. And he fell off. Let me just get to cover. That made me some friends. That went splat. Nothing interesting around here. Okay, except some ammo. And there's other fuel tanks. So one tank remaining. So where would the last tank be? Got grenades again. And splat goes here. So now the question is where is that last one? Double jump is actually coming very useful. It's one of the abilities you get from the ox. So 
nothing here, nothing here. I can't see any fuel containers down up here. So it must be down here. Don't think I was in this building yet. Well, this door is closed. Excavator. And those are basically just health. Or more uh, correct. Funno, funno, yeah, I'm butchering the names, but uh, yeah, it's basically health. So this is where they actually wanted you to jump up these marks, but what they but they allow you freedom, so you can choose what to do, how to do it, which is nice. But. Where's that fuel canister? Not picking it up on my abilities. It's probably been with the other canisters, it's just not destroyed. So that was what last time happened. There it is. Can I jump up here? Nope. Uh, bothering me. Really? <laughs> Look up, as they say. the canister that we were looking for. So, let's continue on our road. But back into the wetlands. Like I said, I uh, wish there was a could see this uh, turns a little bit sooner. Just 
Especially when you are going at the high speed. See if I can find anything about Dr. Kvasir here. Really? Hey, Walker. So Vet who keeps an eye out for the people of Laguni. Been living here a good long time now, and I know just about everyone. Do you know anything about a Dr. Kvasir? Scientist? Real old? Haven't heard that name since just after the war. He moved into the deep secreto, and then went completely off the radar. Nobody's seen him since. Anything else you can tell me? Well, the area around his base is usually awful quiet, on account of the heavy old security. But lately, there's been a whole lot of noise coming from that part of the wetland. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. So, find Toxic Quantum, whatever, in the wetlands. Uh, so, apparently, I'm assuming we need to go there, and we can apparently fast travel there. Yeah? Oh, we're here. We need to go there. Okay. Time to get rolling again, I guess. Oh, that's right, okay. Where we came in and then turn away here. On the right again. <laughs> so, yeah. What the? What the? Ooh. So, there's a big tower just standing here it's got authority written all over it sounds like a sentry tower leftovers from the war usually they will fire at anything that comes too close so be careful if you're going to go for it Storm chaser. So that thing is a bad news. And my car got a workout of note. So let's try and fix it. Wait for me. I'm bad walker and feeling good. And this is a storm chaser. Uh, question is, can I take it here? Um, for a uh, swap it? I don't think so. So, rather not then. So, sentries have not been able to defeat.
Uh, luckily, slow shooting. Uh, just for interest sake. Um, difficulty, this is 8. So I'm not going to mess with it, I'm just going to go past. Okay. Bit of off roading. Wrong button. Want to press break and then press boost. So that the guns are overheated. So I'm basically just shooting now for the doctor. So I don't know if a Phoenix is just a, a Ranger's car. Yeesh. That threw me for a loop. It uh, sort of that tree. Quite a distance still to go. Yet. Where are you, Dr. Basir? I came looking for a Dr. Kvasir here. There you are. Let me just... I see. Uniform is wartime issue. Modified for use in EcoPod fortification. Vineland, no? Then you must be... Yes. Second generation artist. How fascinating. Vineland, yes. I'm pretty much what's left of it. Hmm. You check out. Hold on, I will let you in. So yeah, that was easy enough. Getting through those guys. Okay. Welcome, Ranger. Welcome. It 
It's been too long since I played host to one of your kind. Dr. Anton Kvasier, genius scientist with a shifty past. Original artist, pre-Apophis. They say he worked for the Authority and helped create their mutant soldiers. Then he turned on his masters, joined the cause, fought alongside my folks in the Authority War. Not sure how I feel about mad scientists at this point, but I do need his help. It's, uh, it's an impressive setup, uh, Dr. Kvasir. Kvasir, yes, my lab suffices. Legs. <clears throat> My research used to be more mechanically inclined, but over time the machines, it turns out, fail. I prefer to rely now on genetically engineered solutions, simply because they can heal. It makes sense, I guess. I hope you don't mind, Walker, yes? I put your scan through my ARC mainframe. I know you now. Your parents. Such a tragedy when they were lost. But Arvina Prowley took you in, no? She did. As if I was her own. But they killed her. They destroyed everything I ever knew. Dead? Oh, no. She was... formidable. I was always hoping to, but alas, no. It was a massacre, an unstoppable force. Mutants, a new kind of creature. All tech and armor and guns, and huge, taller than any building. And they were led by a man, General Martin Cross. Oh, he is back then. It was to be expected. Him and his lapdog scientist, Dr. Bendros, were always hard at work on their longevity project. But you see, for that problem, I just might have some solutions. Solutions? I've got one for you. Project Dagger. Ah, you know. <laughs> yes, of course you do. Prowley must have told you already. It will be easy for me to do my part. The project was always equal parts action and science. Come back in about uh, well, six years or so. Then I will have concocted the nanotrite reprogramming agent, or serum, as I prefer to call it. Whoa, did you just say six years? Yes, thereabouts. The science cannot be rushed. Uh, yes, it can be. Better computing power. But alas, my lab is old and tired. Only the elusive Eco-15 still in orbit could provide the computing power to speed up this process. The Ecopod's still in orbit? Been hearing about that since I was a kid. Yes, it was a miscalculation. It remained on the firmament as the others came tumbling down. If Eco-15 was to be forced down, I could tap into the processing power of that ancient supercomputer. Think of it, to siphon that brute computing force into my poor old laboratory. Is there any way to force it down? Hmm, yes. It can be done from the Eden Space Center. Then I'll do it. Yes. Wait a minute. You knew I was going to volunteer to do it, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> Manipulative. Let's see if there's anything around here that we can pick up. Or oh, did he throw everything away? Uh, looks like he throwed everything away. Yeah, nothing in here to pick up. So, up we go again. And please, can we get a damn better entrance? You need a damn motorcycle to get through that road. So I want us to go to Eden Space Station. Is that even on my map? That's the authority. 
does look a uh, little turn. Uh, track location. Vineland. Ground control. Uh, that's wasteland. Meteorite. Earth score arc. It does not look like it's telling us where the space station is. Um, so, scientists. Just you to forty grad uh, meters so turn to masters fort reach the Eden space station. Assistant Park Rust you Am I have uh, going to have to discover the space station on my own? Reach Eden Space Station. Project Tiger. This is the one we're busy with. We found this guy, and we best looks like we have to complete all of the bars for it to, but it's levels. But yeah. Reach level five, which I've already done. So it's an op operating to unlock this mission. And well, spring ground control. Okay, so that's ground control. Uh, I was hoping we could fast travel to that location or something similar to that. Um, but it does not look like there's a fast travel mechanic. Legends. So that's going to be one hell of a ride. Especially the thing that these tight corners that I need to get through. Or at least one. Yeah. 
So that's quite a distance to drive. Uh, luckily, map uh, it won't take too long to get there. Uh, but that's a couple of minutes at least. I was looking at him. Um, <laughs> to authority. Missed my turn because I was concentrating on not stopping. those authorities are extremely dangerous. It's already tried to take one out and I didn't make a dent. So yeah, it's So this is now basically just ra r racing across the map. Really another authority? Okay, so we're now in the planes. Back into the planes, there's no longer mashes and stuff that we need to deal with. Now don't boost while turning, that's a bad idea. That's off-roading. <laughs> yeah, I'm just staying well clear because I don't want to accidentally boost and go flying off the cliff. Broken tracked. <laughs> that was a uh, jump. So we're back to gun barrel. Taking us right through gun barrel. Something there. Might announce a uh, squishy sound. Probably a mutant or something. Hey, look! People. Oh, lovely.
<laughs> Boost through it. Did I clear this area? Oh, it is something. Yeah, I cleared it. So I created another roadblock uh, in the road. The boost is actually very nice. Doctor, I'm approaching the Eden Space Center. Ah, yes. It might be overrun by road scum, come to think of it. But that will be no problem for a ranger. No problem at all. Yes, uh, keep stroking the ego. Two guys in the front. Oh, that's not good. A whole bunch of guys on top of that canister. Where are they? Oops! He dropped something. From what? Where did I get it from? Damn it. Trying to get the yields, not damage. So unfortunately Damn it, don't do that. Um unfortunately the, you need to get very quickly to the guy when you take them out. Because the health that they drop uh disappears. You can see my off picking up every time I pick those blue stuff up. 
It's called Feral Nights or something. Uh, I'm very ba uh, bad with names. I keep messing it up. I can now again try and be a little bit stealthy and control the damage rather than trying to run in. And uh, like a insane guy with a shotgun. Shotgun is very useful in close spaces. It's actually quite dark here. So this would be the inside. Let's switch to shotgun. Doctor, I made it to the space center. It's in ruins, and like you said, overrun by thugs. It should pose no problem to you. And as for Eden, well, it was built to withstand anything. Let us get you proper access. Press palm to hand scan in the reception desk. Okay, there. Well, look at that. Excellent. Now, allow me to give you full access. Hey, Doc, better hurry up. Road goons caught the scent. Wait and hold. I have it almost. Uh, some are ex Whoa! This is good. I almost have it. Just give me a few more uh, minutes. A tricky system, this. Even for me. I'm just about to break on through. Yeah, I'm taking damage. I'm not going to survive it. Damn it, where were you? So where's that guy? There's at least two other guys. the sound of that. Ah, yes. Better to take no chances. Now you have full access, President. The EcoPod mission control is on the third floor. That was point blank of that person. Yes. <sighs> Dead. Apparently not. Damn it. Too many around. Uh, I probably have to redo that. Uh, I 
Der Rüllert. Problem is the shotgun doesn't have range, which is normal for a shotgun. Two more guys here that I know of. Might be wrong. Keeping my shotgun up because some shit is more. This was just a welcome party. Here you go up or down? Well, down apparently. Because we want this. And it's a data pad. Intel attained exciting excavations. I fear my curiosity may be the death of me. My latest prize appears to be the brain of Titan Zagot, suspended in a jar of electrified salt water. The collection of this item has angered the swarm of goon squad bandits who have chased me into this very complex. I discarded it as I was unable to carry it and Pigeon has abandoned me, leaving me to my fate. As I left it to its fate, a small loudspeaker built into the lid screaming a final kiss at me, kill me, it begged. With any luck, it will remain hidden amidst the trash and uh, I can retrieve it once I found a super suitable replacement for Pigeon. Okay. Interesting. So we'll fully load it with that one. Fully load it there. Fully load it there. We'll keep to the shotgun for now, as we are in a close space. Or confined space, so maybe. Uh, okay, this is fenced off, so we are forced to go through here. And that's health, and I'm hearing something. That was supposed to do a lot more damage than that. So when you're in this mode, you're supposed to shoot a slug. Rather than a shotgun shell. So I'm actually amazed that it did so, so little damage. That 
like I said, I was expecting more damage. So it's a bit disappointing that the damage was that low. But it still gives a uh, multiple damage rather than just one. Interesting question. How did a goon squad get in here and I need to access? You need to dash for those uh, health. Hey, what are you doing? The use of a machine gun. The moment when you get into a panic or very tight situation you can just go full auto but don't do it normal normally Get through here uh, with our life intact. Unauthorized personnel. Access denied. Uh, that sounds like an arc. Rather, what an arc would say. Access denied. Access denied. Where's those jokers? That's overdrive. That was fun. <laughs> if it wasn't for overdrive, I would have been dead, yeah. Overdrive multiplies the damage you do. Um, increases the speed you're moving in. Made it, Doc. Excellent. Now, look 
for the central computer. You will initiate the recall procedure for Echo 15. Still in orbit. Okay. So I'm guessing this is a central computer. But I want to look around first. It's a data pad. Re urgent message. Mm, okay. You don't have to, uh, to do anything, Ivan. I take it from here. In fact, it's best you forget the whole thing. Never mention it again to anyone. This is way above to your pay grade. Benjamin Sailor CTO, Eden Corp. Ben, there's something very wrong with the system. Somebody has opened a large data tunnel bypassing all the files right into the main network server. The data is wired to a, an external address through the northern array to some unknown ba uh, bunker. This is a major security breach. What should I do? Ivan bon Bonovsky, senior IT technician, Eden Corp. Uh, above your pay grade and I, your IT is telling you you're being hacked. Uh, Either that was supposed to be there, or the, uh, the CEO was hacking the place. If we all see it as of interest. So the lore is basically the ox came down earlier than it should have. Um, so apparently somebody had access to the ox from the outside so let's see recall sequence approved beginning ecopod recall thank you mr president may you bring about a new eden the ecopod has entered the atmosphere onboard temperature readings indicate thermal shielding is uniform Okay. I would hope that glass would be uh, bulletproof enough. It's down. The eco pod made it. I know, and so does the authority. Hurry inside and activate it. I will handle the rest. So, benefit oh. of uh, 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 the window being destroyed. You can just Better work. run across. Elevator's still running. So far, so good. So I've got a feeling I'm going to have fun with the authority uh, very soon. Luckily, my weapons are fully loaded. Here we are. You have found it. Turn it on and let me handle the rest. That big supercomputer will soon be dancing to Kvasir's tune. It's all powered up. Everything seems to be in working order. Fantastic. Tagger project will now... I am getting a reading from outside the Ecopod. You have authority battle mutants homing in on your location. I'll take care of them. Kill the authority intruders. Okay. Uh, must I go down or what? Something tells me don't stand in the door. Oh, lovely. Just like the doc said, authority mutants shouldn't be a problem.
Where is its buddy? There was a buddy with him. There was there's his buddy. Uh, don't get stuck. How did I kill this guy? this guy I wanted to say I kill I thought I destroyed that one thing oh so it's now got his third life health packs.
going to retry that. <sighs> okay. So this isn't... So we need to go through these guys first. And the doc said authority mutants shouldn't be a problem. I don't think I destroyed that uh, thing. Because I got basically killed. And it's going down again. Didn't destroy it. Down. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Uh, my audio is gone. And the game crashed. That's now the third time the game crashed. Third time this game crashed, it's annoying as hell. Just so, starting it up again. Um, Okay, so we're back to square one. So, so first things first, these guys. Kill these guys first because they are messing me up. Just like the doc said, authority mutants shouldn't be a problem. I'm not picking up health from those guys. They are picked up some health. So 
So I need to shoot up his chest. Destroy his chest. There he's going down. So now, now I need to destroy these things. And he retracted them too soon. I couldn't destroy. So now I need to start again destroying that chest. I got injured somehow. I need to infuse myself and reload. I need to destroy a chest again. And destroy that. And he's going to withdraw it again. That's not what I wanted to do. It goes down again. And now he becomes a berserker. Help when you start to get the uh, the weaknesses. But it's the first time I actually fight this guy. Authority mutants are no longer a threat. You're good to go. so swiftly too. You surely are proudly successful. Right. So now you're gonna get to finishing up your part of Dagger? Yes, indeed. With this setup, it will be a breeze. Plus, plus, I will have ample time to prepare other feats of science which will be beneficial to you. Like? Ah, different projects of a scientific nature, all of which will help you get stronger and tougher, and ultimately be able to, how you say, kick the authorities butt. Sounds good to me. <sighs> You've unlocked uh, Cavus projects. So now we can start uh, doing upgrades on Cavus also. Uh, but for now... That was annoying. Until I figured out the mechanics. So, what I'm thinking is if I can figure out where the exit is, and where my vehicle is, um, which is there, I'm just going to get to my vehicle. And then I'm going to call the stream. Um. Hello, Walker. My research is close to completion, but I am lacking one vital component. Of Please course. come see me in my lab. On my way, Doc. Double cross. That sounds uh, beneficial. I'm just looking. I can't fast travel anything, so... Where's my vehicle? 141 meters that way. I didn't park that far away, did I? Oh, well, true enough. Here's the other side of the complex, so probably. And here's my vehicle. Systems activating. So yeah, I'm going to call it there. Uh, I've been streaming for nearly, well, 2 hours and 20 minutes. Um, trying to see if there's anybody that I know that is streaming. I'm not going to write anybody that I don't know, and 
uh, well, let's take a chance in, uh, no, I feel like I'm taking a chance on somebody that I do know, but isn't part of the first. Just a good guy to follow. Well, good guy to listen. So let's just write him. Uh, there's no other first that I know that I'm comfortable with switching over to. So, we're going to drop this guy a right. Uh, thanks for watching.